Hello, my name is David Smith. I'm a partner here at Anthony Gold Solicitors, heading the private residential landlord and tenant team. One of the most interesting recent cases I've been involved in uh, was acting for a landlord dealing with a large uh, central uh, Midlands uh, local authority in a, in, a, in a nameless city in the central Midlands. Um, that local authority objected to the size of a room in a property that my uh, client was letting out as a house of multiple occupation because it was below a standard that the local authority had set for themselves at six and a half square meters. Um, they refused to grant a license for that room and my client appealed it to a first tier tribunal. Um, the local authority lost primarily because of a previous case I was involved in called Clark versus Manchester City Council um, which said that local authorities can't set their own criteria uh, for room standards, they have to look at the property as a whole. This property, while it did have a small bedroom, had a very big lounge and dining room and kitchen and the tribunal decided it was perfectly suitable to have a small bedroom, taking into account the property as a whole and all the other amenities that were there for the tenant. The local authority didn't agree um, with the tribu first tier tribunal and they appealed it all the way to the upper tribunal and the upper tribunal then refused to hear the case at all and the original decision stood. So the landlord has managed to keep her room in use. Uh, continue to get revenue for that and of course continue to house somebody uh, who would otherwise have not had a home in that area. Uh, if you have a similar problem then we'd love to help you.